Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is George. So today I'm going to be starting up my second episode for the uh, Photoshop tutorial, so can't wait for this. Now I'm, I haven't really decided which path I want to take you guys to teach you guys how to do Photoshop. Basically my Photoshop tutorials are graphic, uh, GFX, like kind of based around. It's not photo editing that much. We will do a bit of it, just but more towards the graphics portion of it. So, but today I decided to teach you guys how to create cool looking fonts, how to stylize fonts, how to create cool logos, how to create different cool uh, techniques, effects, and stuff like that. So let's get started without ado. <coughs> so here we're just gonna create a new page. Uh, I'm just gonna go a thousand, not a hundred, a thousand, by five hundred. <coughs> if you're watching this video, I suggest actually that you put the video on full screen basically on full screen you can see what I'm doing more clearly and I, I'm j I just think it's easier to see I have this on HD so change it to HD if you want <coughs> and it'll be good okay so first thing logos should be able to be used upon two different backdrops a white background and a black background <coughs> this is important essentially when you're trying to create something that is more uh, user-friendly and stuff like that so basically, I'm just going to create a white and a black backdrop. <coughs> uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to do the black one for now, and we can just do something basic. So click on the pen, uh, text tool. I actually didn't go through all the bottom ones uh, now that I look back at my old episode, but I will go through all of them as we go along, so you won't need to know a bunch of useless things at an early stage, because some of these won't apply at all. Okay, now let's take the text tool. here. Um, a good website to use actually let me pause the video just so I can get the website up okay so here we resume again so the uh, font.com this is a really great website I use this for most of my um, text like fonts uh, they have different ones as like a bunch of cool looking uh, techy stuff and like um, let me see here there's just a wide variety of ranges search through it sci-fi is very popular amongst the um, web design and like also the YouTube community but that is a really great site. I'm sure you guys would really appreciate that one. You just download and put it in your font folder. I won't teach you that. Should be a basic. Now, first off, <clears throat> I'm just going to select a random font, something that'll look cool just for this video purpose only. Uh, the font that I'm going to use most likely won't come with the uh, regular Windows and operating system or like whatever operating system you choose to use. Mac works too. But I am going to use a font which I am trying to find right now without good progress. Let's just use Red Rocket. <clears throat> so I used this font actually before. So let's just create something. I'll just call this logo for a lack of a better word to use. Now, here is logo. The text is plain. The font, I just scaled it up a bit. You can scale it up by pressing, using the shortcut Control T, you have freeform by pressing Shift and holding Shift while dragging a corner. You are able to move this uh, with scale without like kind of like messing stuff up like that, you know? <clears throat> okay, so basically I just did that. You can also, of course, go into Text Tool. Text Tool has different text tools. You can change the size, you can change it to sharp, crisp, stuff like that. I just put it on sharp because it looks nicer. Up to you guys. <clears throat> okay, so. First off, I want to show you how to create something that will work with the black backdrop. Now, basically, the black backdrop, you double click the uh, layer of the text, it pops up this thing. It's called layer style. Basically, the layer style is just essentially uh, a bunch of options that you can use to switch up and change around your logo. So, here I'm just going to. Since it's a black backdrop, you won't be able to see, but I always like to put a drop shadow just in case I use it for anything else. <clears throat> it's not required. I use it a lot, though. Now, gradients. Gradients are a perfect way to create uh, diff like create really unique stuff. Uh, normally, I should start off something like that, more like it, maybe like 90 degrees. It'll the, That's the basic gradient. Now, we can switch up the gradient. I'll just use choose a random color. I'll choose red just for this purpose. You can obviously use different colors. I'm actually going a bit too fast here. Uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen. And now double click the gradient or just single click it. And then you, you at the bottom there's these two little arrow things. These two arrow things, they allow you to change the gradient. So if you double click into it, you can select colors, randomly select your color. I'm just going to go with a red just for this tutorial purposes. Double click the other little uh, color selection box. 
and you can switch to a darker. Gradients often work best if you switch to light to dark, mainly uh, the same color or some colors that look really nice together. Some people have really bad athletic, uh, however you say the word, really bad like color matching skills, which isn't good. If it's really hard, just take a light color of the same color and a dark color of the same color. It looks really great and it's very easy. <clears throat> so now you can change the angle of like the way that you want the logo to go. I always put it at 90 if it's straight up. Just because it looks nice, it goes from light to dark. Now, the next part I'm going to be talking about is bevel and embos. Now, you click this. You click any any of these things to select it. This brings up this. Now, of course, you switch. This is a highlight mode. This is where you put the light color. So where you see the white, change it to a light red. You can get the lightness from that. And then the darkness, you can select anything. Here's just a designer tip. If you like the stuff I do, I always set black to none basically because I don't like the color I don't like a darker shade it makes you look unprofessional and it doesn't look good now you change the contour contour really just changes the like the kind of like <clears throat> the bevel-ish it, it makes stuff it makes the bevel sharper which I like I just set it on a lower range creating it a sharper bevel now the size is good you can change up the size depending on how much you like it I just like to have it on five looks great just for the size, you change it depending on the size that you have it. You can change the softness. I always like it nice and sharp and crisp. Looks great. Now, the next part. I want to just show you guys that uh, this is basically the logo. Now, I'm just going to go into... No, nah, nah, not that. I'm going to go into desktop 1K pack. This pack I actually have given to you guys. <clears throat> you guys should be able to use this. I'm going to select a random thing here. I will go with the cracked cement. Cracked cement always looks really nice. Now, uh, basically, I just take this. I put it over this. I can hide this. And by doing that, I can put this here, put that there, click that there, click that there. I do that by pressing shift and then clicking the areas where the text is there. You won't have to be afraid because since it is overlaying, it's an, a, an effect upon it. You won't like be able to only select the... Um, like the, some parts of gradients, I, I just press the magic wand, put the tolerance on low. It doesn't really matter about the tolerance because it's just text. Now, this is something that you will need to be able to pay attention for this because this is like something that is really important. Now, the crack cement, you open up the layer. As you can see, I put it perfectly right on top of it. Now, select, click on the crack cement, one click, just so you select it, and you press Control J. Control J creates the exact same shape that I selected, but with that cement with that like texture. So you just delete the old one, you can drag it down to the uh, trash can down here and bam, you have the texture upon it with out um just like with the logo style. Now from here you can leave it like that. <clears throat> you can't see the red which looks ugly. Now, I always like to switch this up. So I just go to layer um layer type and I just instead of normal, I make sure you have the layer 2 selected or whatever it's called and then put it on overlay. Overlay allows it to show up. Uh, sort of and then allows the background to color up now you can always put this on dark darken which switches it up like that just be basically because if you have a lighter object you put it on overlay it'll show up better if you have a darker object you put it on darken it'll show up better now I'm gonna like drop the just gonna drop the opacity and then bam there you have a little texture it looks really nice everything looks great now this is a, essentially a good logo to have now uh, basically, this is all I'm going to tell you in this tutorial. It's really simple, really basic. You can do other stuff like possibly um, make a line using the line tool. Uh, you can change the shape. I'll teach you all this later. Change the width to 1. You put, you change the color to something red. You dra drag it across and bam, you have a red line on the bottom of this. And then you just move it over a bit, center it out, rasterize the text by right clicking on the shape. And then taking your um, this tool, the uh, eraser, and then going up here, you ch you can change the size to something bigger, change the hardness to none, so it's like really soft, and just do something like that. And bam, you have a red line that's kind of faded on both ends. Looks really classy. Basically, you can add other stuff. You can like possibly duplicate the object by right clicking, clicking duplicate, and then uh, bringing the object up, and bam, there you have a sort of something like that. And then you can obviously add different stuff, different effects that you have. It's really neat. Everything's pretty cool. And then basically this is how you create something. Obviously changing to red, it still looks nice. As you can see, there's a bevel behind it. 
you can uh, not the bevel the drop shadow behind it you can obviously change the drop shadow make it something darker uh change the distance to none just so it's like that and then just extend it out just a tad bit maybe change distance to two actually there we go and then bam there's it uh white there's it black everything looks great possibly a good logo for you to use on one of your objects so if you like my tutorial please like and subscribe uh, to my channel like this video if you like it and comment on what you think if you want to use my techniques please put a video reply on what you did that way I can see and like just uh, give you feedback because I love giving feedback to a lot of people uh, it's great helping you guys just uh, this time tell me what you want to see next on the, my video so tell me what you are looking for uh, what you want to be taught I can do everything from the big uh, from the basic most basic thing to the hardest thing it's all possible just give me a shout out uh, some parts if it's hard I have to change the video into two this is just this is just a like, very easy something uh, something that's very easy to do but it looks really professional I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, again please like and subscribe to my channel it always helps me a lot and uh, just refer your friends thanks guys and uh, talk to you later